come to the northeastern tip of Wales, to the mouth of the Dee estuary. In fact, Liverpool's just over there. It's a glorious bit of coastline. Very good place to come for a bit of bird watching. But we're not here for the birds. We're here for something much rarer and arguably even more exciting. These are the Talaker Dunes, 165 acres of rare ecosystem and a site of special scientific interest. With some local knowledge and, of course, the right permissions, I can show you exactly what I'm after. This is it. Can you see that? Yes, it's a toad, but this is not just any old toad. This is a natterjack toad. How does it look different to a common toad? Well, it's got the same sort of warty skin, which contains poisons a common toad has, but down her back, there's a yellow stripe, very obvious yellow stripe, but the crowning glory of the natterjack is these beautiful iridescent eyes here. They're sort of greeny iridescent, not the orange of the common toad. Isn't that beautiful looking animal? Whoops, <laughs> let's put her back where, where she wants to be. Oops, sorry, love, oops, sorry, there. Natterjacks were once widespread across Britain, and Talaker was a stronghold for the species. But in the early 1900s, people began to live on the dunes. And during the Second World War, German bombing raids on Merseyside saw many more flee to the safe retreat of Talaker, eventually driving the Natterjacks away. In recent years, conservation workers helped rejuvenate the sandy habitat, and 20 years ago, natterjacks were finally reintroduced into what's now the most successful reintroduction site in Britain, and all thanks to John Buckley from the Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust. So, John, where did you get the natterjack toads to repopulate this area? They all came from the Sefton Coast. That's just across the Wirral here behind us, not that far away. I collected the tadpoles and then put them in the back of the car and drive them around through the tunnel, down the Wirral, around to here. So all the ones that we're looking at here are probably descendants from your car journey through, uh, through the tunnel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic bit of conservation. It was good. April and May are the breeding season for the natterjacks, and though they're nocturnal, John's able to monitor numbers by observing spawn strings left in shallow pools in the dunes. Ah, oh, hang about. Now, this is absolutely perfect to demonstrate what a natterjack toad string is like, where the eggs are lying one behind the other in a single line, and that says natterjack. This will give you an indication of the health of the population in this area. Yes, we home in on the spawn to get a good count of that, and that gives us an idea of the total breeding population. How is the population here actually doing, do you think? Well, it's getting better and better. Brilliant. The spawn tells us the natterjacks are breeding here, but John needs to study the adult toads themselves to get the whole picture. After dark, the males emerge from their burrows and call to the females from the shallows of the ponds. They're very civilised. They're not like common toad where they all jump upon the female. <laughs> Once the females find a mate, yes. they tend to just be left to their own devices. Do you think that's why it's called the common toad? <laughs> it's pretty basic. <laughs> Natterjacks are famous for having one of the loudest amphibian calls in Britain, but uh, not tonight. It's cold and probably a bit too cold for natterjacks to be calling now, but they'll be here still in the pond. There's one, yeah, that's just sitting hunkered down in the water. Oh my goodness me, I shouldn't have had so much supper. Oh, little squeak there. A little croak. So little croak. Is, would you reckon this is a male? No, I think it's a male. I can see it's black thumb pads. Oh, oh yes, so can I, for holding on to the female, hopefully. Yep. Before we release him, John wants to record some vital data to help him monitor the Natterjack population. This is what we measure it on, and we try and get it to sit with its nose at one end. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy with 61 millimetres at the moment. 61 millimetres. So that means this male is over four years old, and he would have bred here several times before. Now for his weight. 
and it's weighing 25.2 grams. These figures give John an idea of the toad's overall condition and ultimately the health of the colony. Let's go and put him back. Lovely. Excellent. Ready for his lady love, hopefully, later on tonight. Yes, she know. might come. <laughs> the woman of his dreams. That's just a chance. I find him very attractive, actually. <laughs> Most attractive. Right, let's look for another one. <laughs> Hopefully, with more projects like these at Talaker, the Natterjack could well be on the toad to recovery.